Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a video using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. I was so, so excited when I got this palette because just look at it. It is so, so pretty. And when I seen it in pictures, in Instagram, all of that, I just fell in love with it right away. I thought it was gorgeous then. And then when I seen it in person, it is just mind blowing. You know, I just, I really was so excited to go ahead and dabble into this. So that's how I came up with this look. It was so hard for me to choose what like few set of colors I wanted to do. But in this video, you'll be seeing that I used quite a bit. I, let me see, I used um, one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine. I used about ten shadows already from this palette in this look so yes I was pretty proud of myself um, but anyways if you guys want to see how I get this look with this palette then just please keep on watching okay so we are gonna be going into the Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills I was so excited when I finally got this palette because these colors these colors are super pretty I just I couldn't I couldn't get enough from this palette you know it's just all these colors are super pretty obviously you got all like the foiled shadows on top and then you have a few uh, shimmery like sheen colors and then you have a few mattes down there as well but um, with this look that I created, I wanted to use um, as many colors as I could because of the fact that I just could not choose. I could not choose and settle with just like one, one shadow for the lid and just like a few in the crease and stuff. So there's a lot going on, um, but I just had to try them. So what I want to do, or what I did actually, is I went in with um incense or yeah incense which is that you know brown shade and i just threw this all over and blended this out as much as you can but um i with this look i went a little heavy-handed because of the fact as you can see from this eye it did blend away a little bit but you can still kind of see it there that's the whole point um but I definitely go in heavy-handed at first just to get everything ready so that shade is on and these shadows to me like all of her palettes they these shadows blend out amazingly um I know there's a lot of people out there who don't like some of her palettes especially the subculture but me I I love all of these palettes like all of her palettes that she did I like them I don't mind the kick up and speaking of the kick up there is gonna be you know a little bit but honestly that doesn't bother me as long as the shadows blend out great and it looks nice that's all I really care about but that's just my preference you know do what you want to do but again I don't mind them so yeah but as long as they blend out fine which these do I just I love them and I'm going into the shade love and it's that pink shade right there and I'm just blending this all over and over the brown as well that we did because it just makes this really pretty color and I just really like how this turned out Oh, and I did also forget to mention, I already did uh, line my waterline in tight lined. I just used a black liner, use whatever liner you want, but I like to do that now ahead of time because I always tend to forget and it's kind of difficult to, for me to tight line when I have all the stuff on my lid already. So I try to do those before my video. So if you guys see me with it beforehand, that is why. Okay. So now i'm getting a smaller blending brush and i'm going to be using i'm going to be using the morphe e36 brush so it's a very small small blending brush and i'm going to um 
volatile I guess um which is that shade right there and I'm really going to go light-handed on this and I'm putting this right in the crease like I'm not really blending up right now I'm just really focusing it right where your eye socket where you feel right above it that's all I'm doing and then what I'm going to do now is I'm just getting a very more fluffy of a brush and I'm going into the same same shadow but very lightly and then I'm just going to kind of blend upward into the the pink and the brown just to give a little bit more of a darker shade and then now I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease and I'm just using a normal concealer And I'm just cutting right under that crease color. Okay, and not stopping there. Um, another thing is with this palette, you can use the the foil shadows on their own if you want, or just over the concealer but I found it easier because I did do that at first with this eye. I went on how I just did, cut the crease with the concealer and then I put them on top, but I just felt like I wanted something a little bit more pigmented. So I went into a glitter glue and I'm just using the, the NYX glitter primer and I'm just gonna follow all over the concealer that we just put down. Okay, so with that on now, and I wanted to switch it up a little bit. Normally, I would go in with the lighter shade and then, you know, use darker, gradually use darker shades to go to the very end. But I wanted to do a little bit differently, so I'm going into Dazzling, which is that very pretty bronzy kind of color. And I'm going to put this right on the inner part of the lid. these colors are just so so pretty and then same brush I'm now going into wild child which is a really really bright pretty pink and I'm just going to put this right in the center and I'm just patting this on I don't really drag it really until everything is set to kind of blend it together. And then now going into rose gold and it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> And then now I just kind of want to dip back into those shades just to really blend them together. So with that done, I'm going back into that small, small blending brush and I'm going back into Volatile. And going back over that crease. And then with that on already, I'm going into Passion, which is that very pretty, like burgundy-ish color. And I'm just blending that right on top of Volatile. And then now with everything done, this look is just involving a lot of blending. So if you don't like that, I am sorry. 
but now I'm just going back into uh, Love, which is that lighter pink, and just really blending that color a little bit more in, like so. Okay, and so to do the bottom lash line, I am going into Passion, and I'm just going to blend this all underneath and really kind of smoke that out. And then another color that we're going to go into is Eccentric, which is that very pretty like mustardy brown yellow color. I'm just picking that up and I'm blending that right in the middle to the bottom part of Passion. <clears throat> Okay, so right now I'm going to go ahead and just line, do the wing liner and mascara and then I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back now with my lashes and liner done and no, no falsies, these are just, I just did mascara. Um, I always use just mascara for now. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, I am now going into Dreamer, which is that really pretty light gold shade. And I am just going to put that in the inner corner. But then I want to mix base in with it as well. Just to have a little more brightness. But we're not done with that completely yet. So using base, I'm going to put that right under for my brow bone. And just really brighten that area up. And then going into the highlighter that I use for my face is the Golden Flower Crown by Wet n Wild. I'm going to mix that also to really blend the inner corner out and then put this for the brow bone. But since I don't like having that big of a gap under my brow bone for the colors, I am getting that very small, I can find it, that very small blending brush and I'm just really just blending back the colors like that. So now I'm going to be setting my face with the Ulta Beauty Matte Setting Spray. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did because I was so excited to finally play with this palette and to see what it can do you know there's still a ton more looks that i have in mind to do especially with some of the colors you know especially that that purple and then you know a few of the other gold shades like that dark one you know basically all the shades that i didn't use i want to try to do a look with that also um but again overall being that this was basically a first impression of this palette because it was my first time using this um i would have to definitely say i i really enjoyed it i would recommend picking it up but again if you are one of those who don't like a lot of kick up in the pan then you would probably not like this palette not so not that i'm saying that there is a, extremely a lot for me i guess um but the fact is there is going to be some kick up but I'm fine with that. It's it's not going to make me not want to get this palette um, because again, the colors are beautiful. They're pigmented and they blend out really nicely. So that's just my that's just my perspective. But again, I love it and I'm I'm just glad I have it now to really just play with more more looks with this. So again, I like. It. So if you guys like this video, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And again, if there's looks that you guys want me to try, products, anything like that, go ahead and throw those down in the comments below or just comment, comment what you like about this video or just, you know, anything you feel like, just go ahead and throw those down below. Um, with all of that being said, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.